So what we got here is a Ford 1710. The only difference between the 1710 and the 1700, I think, is the, uh, the screen filter. The 1700 has a screen filter uh, by the pump, but this one has a spin-on filter there. So I've already changed the filter, changed the fluid, and my hydraulics are still slow. So uh, what we got now is... The diverter valve here. I'm having trouble changing my screen around. So I put a I put a gauge into this one. Uh, can you see? Into that pipe plug. Uh, this one right here is zero pressure. This one right here is going to be your high pressure side. And um, I got 1,900 pounds. And this is supposed to be. If you don't have a loader, it's supposed to be all the way to the right. And it only moves from. Uh, two o'clock to nine o'clock. If you put it on nine o'clock, it'll divert it straight to the straight to the sump. So I know I got a good pump, and I know I got uh, good pressure. So now the only thing is inside the control valve uh, under the top lid. But you don't have to on these ones. You don't have to take the top lid off because it's all disassembled from the side here. You got about seven, twelve, thirteen millimeter bolts there. Bang, 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 all the way around. Take this little clip off here. Remove your, this is the high pressure line. This is a banjo bolt. Don't lose the O-rings on both sides. Pull that off and this will come right out really easy. So I'm gonna take that apart and then I'm gonna show you how to clean out the control valve because the control valve I bet has some debris. All right, I'll get back to you. So it's not a very good view, but here's your other place you can put your pressure gauge to uh, isolate the problem to the control valve. If you put your uh, pressure gauge on this plug, it'll, and you got zero pressure, that means nothing's coming through. So that way you can isolate the problem to the control valve. There's another little pipe plug down here, but it don't go to nothing. It's just a visibility plug. So you can look in there to see if the um, exhaust valve is working, I think, or something. So the um, banjo bolt for the high pressure line is a three quarter. And these are 13s. And I got one more 13, but I gotta get that three quarter high pressure line off first. And remember, don't lose the O-rings on the high pressure line. I don't know if you can even see me well. Banjo bolt, banjo bolt. All right, and you need some, there's gonna be some fluid coming out. So it's good to get you a bucket. A five gallon bucket will fit under it. Maybe, no, well, not quite. There's your banjo bolt and your O-rings are on both sides of the pipe. So you gotta bend it back a little bit. And then there's one more 13 behind that. See that? And the whole pop top, that whole side cover pops right off. So, and you got your pin back there. So there's your control valve. And so what we're gonna do is this whole assembly here, just take this end off and this end, and then let the whole thing slide straight out. Don't do none of these in between, keep it all one piece and take a picture of it with your phone so you can get a good idea how to orient. So we're gonna take them three off or this linkage here and then the spring, and then this is the valve. We gotta open that up and that's where the debris gets stuck. All right. Trying to turn the camera off. So this is where the high pressure line goes in. 
the high pressure banjo bolt. And that's where, and then it goes through the valve and then it comes back out here. And this hole shoots it into the piston cylinder that has the, uh, the turtle and the rabbit uh, drop speed knob. That's where that goes into and that's what causes the lift. So um, you can push air through this side or the other side and plug one or the other and move your lever and then you'll know if you're getting, if it's stuck open, which it is. So, uh, so we're gonna remove spring first. Keep all your little washers. And we're gonna remove Like I said, if you take this other ones off, you're gonna end up realizing you did more work than you need to, because it's so, the linkage is uh, very um, rigid, and uh, so you can't take one side off, you gotta take them all off at once. So, so that's an anchor point, that's an anchor point, that's an anchor point. These are not anchor points. So you leave them on. If I look like a rookie, it's because I am. I'm just a rookie, man. All right, so that and that. So now you slide this whole assembly off. Bye -bye. So now we're gonna remove these two. Remember, right here, there's an O-ring, it's stuck to the tractor. Make sure that that goes back on. There's also some O-rings behind this that we're gonna be mindful of. 13 millimeter bolts. There's your full control valve there. So there's your two O-rings that are important. So this top one without the hole, this is the one that typically has debris in it. I believe this is just an exhaust. So you might have to put this in a vise and uh, actually I should have left those bolts on and then turn it off with an inch and a 16th uh, wrench, one and 16th inch. I'm gonna screw that back on so I don't have to walk all the way over to the vise. Inch and sixteenth. Inch and one sixteenth. Yeah, yeah, baby. I'm in rare form today. I had a long week. I'm working really hard. All right, so now the valve. We don't want to take it all the way off because some pieces might fall out. So just got it hand loose. Now I'm gonna take the whole assembly off. Of it. Man down, man down. All right, so like I said, don't forget the two O-rings, bang, bang. So this little bugger is where the debris usually gets stuck. And you got that plug and then you got a spring and then you're gonna have a plunger. I'm not sure if that's technical or what you call them, but that's what I call them. Take the spring out. Now we got a plunger in there that you can't see. I'm on a heavy table here, so I'm just gonna tap it. Oh, there's the plunger. There's the plunger. So now, I don't see any debris, but earlier when I did it, a couple of chunks came out. So I've, and then I used it for a while, then it stopped back up. So I'm gonna spray this out with some uh, carburetor cleaner. And then I'm gonna maybe open up the other side also. Joke cleaner. So how are y'all doing today? So I'm in a little town called Shuckatuck here in Suffolk, Virginia. I got four daughters. Their names are Lily, Oreo, Nutmeg, and Violet, and they're actually goats.
yeah, it's some nasty stuff in there. So you can see how the plunger, everything moves freely. And this pulls out. That's the, uh, this, this is the one that connects to the, uh, that rear little lever that connects to the lift arm to open up the exhaust valve. So that's the exhaust valve. So we just gotta figure out what's going on in there. Maybe it was something super small. I'm just gonna drop my plunger back in. Drop my spring back in. Close the thing there. And screw back on. I don't see any debris, but we're gonna try it and just see what we got. Sometimes it's something so small that just uh, creates resistance on that plunger and it'll that plunger will stay open and it'll just shoot all the fluid out of the exhaust valve instead of shooting it into the piston cylinder all right make sure we got the two o-rings on there put the linkage back on and it goes like that like that sometimes you might have to move that lever to get it to line up that's the lever that connects to the rear lift arm to open up the control valve when the arms are all the way up I mean to open up the uh, exhaust valve we only got two Just kind of doing this fast for your sake. I'll keep you on YouTube all day. I know you got things to do. And then the one washer goes behind the spring. And then the spring goes back here and here. All right, now I'm on. Zipper back on the tractor and we're gonna try it out. I think it's gonna work, but maybe not because I didn't find no debris in there visibly. Maybe it uh, fell out when I smacked it on there. Like I said, it only takes a piece of a piece of debris the size of a hair dandruff. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Well, that's the importance of changing your filter and your fluid because you get debris in there. And I don't know, it didn't look like metal. It looked like some kind of small particles of plastic or something. All right. So I got it back on there. So just a little recap. Check your PSI here. Should be between, I can't remember, 15 and 22, but mine's 19. And put it in this side. This goes to the right for the rear lift to two o'clock, it only goes two o'clock, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock sends it back only to the sump. This is the high pressure line that goes right up there, bang. So you can check pressure here. If you got zero pressure here, that means it's the control valve. This other little plug is nothing. It's just a visibility plug to see your exhaust uh, valve. Um, so also I forgot to mention the, you get it, I got the fender removed and that's a big help. You can't do it without the fender removed. So now it's the moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Start the girl up and see if she works. Love lugs. Got her in up position. Let's see what she does. Do it, girl. Yeah. I like the way you work it.
bottom line, you can do it.